What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know him in the real world, and what you missed in previous takes of this video was my dog wheezing, almost killing itself, and I was scared for it, uh, my Skype chat going crazy, um, flying squirrels, and a meth lab exploding. I'm joking, that, that last part didn't happen, but everything else did. The flying squirrels happened, too. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to take do, do this video for a while now. It's uh, one that I have to be very careful doing, one that I want to make sure everything gets said properly, so I'm taking my time with it. But basically, um, no, let, let me start it out with something positive. So I did hit 1,000 subscribers either Saturday or Sunday. I don't remember which because it's been a very stressful weekend for me. But um, I thank you guys so much for that. I will be doing some kind of special video on it. But I need suggestions on what to do. So if you could leave that in the comment section below, that would be awesome. Um, I'm not doing any kind of money giveaway because I'm poor. So I won't be doing that for right now. I can do one later on maybe. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. Just leave suggestions. So getting into the topic and my dog is wheezing again. I don't know if you can hear it. It's all the way in the, in the hallway over there. I hope it's okay. Okay. Anyway. Um, so yeah, if you haven't heard yet, there's been a roster change for flight us and, um, it's been a lot of drama because there's been a lot of roasting going on back and forth and my dog is still wheezing. Hmm. Okay. But anyway, uh, so yeah. Uh, basically, Alex has parted ways with us, uh, or we parted ways with him, with however you want to say it. Um, there were some compatibility issues going on. Uh, it, it just wasn't it wasn't going to work out. Um, myself and Alex are still good friends. Um, however, there have been some things said from both sides so far that don't seem to be uh, very good things. Things that I think people are going to regret saying, both in the Skype chat, on YouTube videos, and over the mic um i will be linking uh the videos the video responses that m my teammates and former teammate have put out about um this issue quaddy has not made one because he, he doesn't record any videos right now but um i think there's two from joe one's very short one's more like 20 minutes and then there's one from alex and it's like 15 minutes so um if you do watch one please watch the other because i want you guys to see both sides of the argument, but, um, yeah, the, the, there have been some issues going on for a little while now, uh, and it's been getting kind of worse as it's been going on, and there was this latest argument that I'll talk about a little bit, and it's kind of the straw that broke the camel's back, I guess you could say. So basically, this Saturday, um, I was at my dad's house, and I came over to my mom's to be able to play some 3v3s, because, you know, Alex was at his grandma's, which is fine, uh, family responsibilities, I completely understand. And uh, apparently Levi and Alex had set up this thing where they were going to do some land research at this time. But because I came over to my mom's and I needed to get back to my dad's at some point uh, because, you know, it was his weekend with me. I, we, we decided to keep playing 3v3s and then do the research later. Well, Alex wasn't going to be available later and so he was upset by this. Um, honestly, though, I wouldn't have minded doing all the research by myself later that night or even with the rest of the team and w without Alex, we could have gotten the information to him, I think. But um, basically, Alex got mad and was was saying that we were taking the 3v3s uh, more, more seriously than a LAN event. Uh, by the way, this LAN event was a local LAN. Um, it wasn't a huge deal and it was in March. And I, th I think we could have taken another day if we needed to to get the information. But I understand where he's coming from. His parents wanted the information. David wanted the information. So I, I do understand that. But um, this argument led to Alex dropping Levi, and in response to this, we, we'd already been talking about this for uh, an hour or so in our, in our own little chat kind of thing, and we came to the conclusion to part ways with Alex instead, and w we stuck together, Joe, Levi, and I, and um, David gave us the Flight US name, and uh, Alex might still be part of flight i don't know he might get an na team um he's got a, a team of four right now but uh, i don't know if they're going to become part of flight or if they're still affiliated with flight uh dave hasn't really gotten back to me on that yet uh so I'll, I'll see what happens with it but um yeah like i said alex and i are still still going to be good friends here um neither one of us has roasted the other one like like some of the other people have and um yeah, but uh, as sad as it is, you know, now we are a team of three, 
and we're looking for a fourth. So there's there's a few things I should go over that we are looking for in a fourth. And the first thing is that we would prefer you to live in the East Coast area, maybe Central. Um, I'm Central, but the host that we use is in Florida. We use him 99% of the time. Uh, you know, it's just the best connection for us. So it'd be pretty good if you're East Coast. Next thing is that uh, we need you to play at least three hours a day, including weekdays. Um, probably even more once we decide for sure that we're going to a LAN. Uh, just because we need the practice, we got to get it in somehow. So that's that's how that's probably going to work. Uh, next thing is our play, or I, I said this last time too by accident. What, what I should say is the time that we're going to use to practice um, is going to be somewhere between 4 and 11 p.m., just depending on how the schedules work. I know Dro is getting over some basketball stuff now that the season is ending soon or it already has or something, and then he might be able to get on earlier. So it'll move around a little bit, but it'll be somewhere between 4 and 11 p.m.-ish area to uh, to get on and practice. Uh, next thing is that what, what we're actually looking for right now is somebody who's a strong submachine gun OBJ player. Uh, we might mess around with the roles a little bit. You know, if you're an AR player, you could still... Uh, contact us and let us know and we we might be able to work something out but um that's mainly what we're looking for it would be nice if you two things that would be nice that you have but you don't have to have is a, a really good sniper shot that's something we're kind of lacking in right now dro and levi are, are okay at sniping but we we don't have anybody that can consistently get those first blood picks every single round of S D. that's one thing that we really need and we can always practice if if we don't just get somebody that's already naturally good at it uh, next thing is that we need somebody who would preferably have uh, some respawn knowledge. Our S and D game is very, very strong. Our respawn is okay, um, and when I say okay, I'm taking this at a very critical stance. Uh, we still place well in respawn tournaments. It's just for me, I don't feel like we perform as well on it. So it would be nice if you have some good respawn knowledge, preferably more so on domination, because our blitz is is getting quite a bit better. Our domination is still somewhat lacking, but not not something that's you you have to have but it would be nice um next thing is don't rage don't don't be a rager uh i understand if you get mad every now and then you know just once in a while or if you complain once in a while everybody does it it's part of the call of duty community so i completely understand but don't be somebody who's constantly putting down teammates or uh yelling at them or just raging off the game in the middle of a of a match or something like that don't don't be that guy uh, just show respect for everybody. Next thing is you need to be able to travel. And I understand if you have some financial issues. Uh, we all do. We're, we're in high school, and I don't think any of us have a job right now. Um, technically, I guess I kind of have one on, on YouTube now because I am partnered. But it's it's not going to roll in major bucks or anything right now. But, uh, you know, I understand if you have some problems getting to a LAN event. We are working on getting more and more sponsors. Uh, we're, we're gaining them, and uh, we're going to try and get some that will give us some more funding for LAN events. But uh, it would be nice if you could be able to go to at least one LAN event this year if you have some money set aside that you could use for that. So that would be really nice. Um, let me talk a couple about a couple... Oh, one, one other thing would be that would be nice is if you had some previous tournament experience. It doesn't have to be LAN experience. That'd be really awesome if you did. That would be great that you could bring to the team. But um, if you if you just have online tournament placings that you've had before, that would be nice to know about. Um, so now let me talk about a couple things that uh, some other teams may look at that we're, we're really not. Uh, first thing is MLG rank. We're not going to look too closely at that simply because there's too many ways that people go about cheating, kind of. not Not always cheating. But just doing really easy ways to get XP to get to the top. And then there's ways that people are going legit about it and they're just getting BS'd. And, you know, you may have gotten reset by some bribed admin or something like that. Hint, hint. Um, but, you know, just, just things like that. So MLG rank isn't overly important to us. Um, and that, that's, that's really the main thing, I guess, that a lot of teams look at that we're not. Uh, another thing is how, how tryouts are going to work. Um, first of all, to message us, it would be uh, flight space Mr. No Name, um, Quadi, or Eru space Hectic. On uh, on the, those are all our Xbox gamer tags, so you can message us and we'll work out some kind of schedule, I guess, 
on trying out. And what we're probably going to do is uh, do three games with you a day. We'll do a domination, a blitz, and an S&D, and a scrim. And then we'll try out the next day as well, and the next day, and so on and so forth. Maybe getting you in more if we like you more. Um, but we want to give people multiple days and multiple games to try out. And to do this, you know, I think it's fair to do several people in one day, but then do those same several people again the next day and over and over again to give you multiple chances and also give you chances in each game type. So I'm, I'm thinking that's how it's going to work. I think it's a good setup, but we might adjust that. Um, and just the last thing I should say, I guess, is that uh, somehow I managed to get the captain role of the flight U.S. team. I don't know if I was necessarily voted on by my other teammates or something. I I don't know. Um, it's a great honor to be captain, but um, <laughs> I'm, I'm a non-confrontational person, and being captain comes along with responsibilities that are going to make me confront people about certain things that I would normally feel uncomfortable about. But it'll be a good lesson, I guess, a good life lesson. Um, I'll have to overcome these things, and... Um, you know, just try and try and be the best person I can be and make it the best experience for the team. I'm not going to be a captain that is going to be in ruling with an iron fist or anything. I'm, I think the only way that people will know me as captain is the extra responsibilities I'm going to take on. Other than that, all the decisions are going to be team based. Um, I'm not going to make all the decisions for everybody. It's going to be a majority rule type thing, or maybe not even that. It maybe it has to be a hundred percent agreement on something because you know you don't want a teammate that doesn't want to be doing something so um that's that's basically what i have for you guys uh it's somewhat of a sad video i'm, I'm very sad to see alex go um hopefully you know like i've said we'll we'll be good friends for a while to come i mean you know we teamed for a long long time well over six months probably closer to eight or nine so it's it's uh it's very sad to see him go i will say i got almost no sleep saturday night at all i had maybe one or two hours of sleep. I, I, it was just awful. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all I have for you guys. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like comment and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way guys until next time, everybody. Peace out.